The smallest baby to have survived premature birth in South Africa weighed only 400 grams. A few years ago, that baby's survival would have been unlikely. But thanks to medical advances today, babies born prematurely are surviving against what seem to be the most unlikely of odds. A normal nine months is about 38 to 42 weeks gestation. If you're born before that, it's considered premature. And this ranges from 37 weeks all the way down to about 22 weeks of gestation, which is about the youngest that a baby's ever survived. The causes of premature birth are quite complicated, and there are many. And you can divide them into two main categories. The one is when the medical staff intervene to actually take the baby out early. So for example, if the baby's life's at risk, maybe they're not growing properly, there's some problems with the placenta, or if the mother's life's at risk, for example, if she's got very high blood pressure or she's brought on by the pregnancy, and we need to get the baby out to save her life. The other main cause of premature birth is premature labor. And there's a long list of causes for these. This include infections, untreated HIV, sexually transmitted diseases, substance misuse, alcohol, cigarettes, and then there's also a big unknown section where we don't actually know why mothers have premature birth. The longer a baby stays in the womb, the more mature the baby's organs become and the greater its chances of survival. I had preeclampsia, so the baby didn't grow, so I had to go for a caesar. And it was weighing about 640 grams. And it's doing great, it's picking up weight now, waiting for me to Get out of here. The thing that worried me the most was when his weight dropped to 540 grams. Then I was worried, I just cried and I just prayed for him to get better. A premature baby may have trouble breathing because of their immature respiratory systems and their lungs are among the last organs to finish developing. I gave normal birth to him. He came on his own at 27 weeks. He was a, really a little miracle. When he came out, he was crying so loud. I couldn't believe that was my baby there. And today, he's doing so, so well. Doctors and nurses are doing a very, very good job here. They're looking very well after each and every baby. The second day, I came in here, they told me that they're going to take off the oxygen, he's going to breathe on his own. That was the best news ever. As the professor and the doctors were standing, I was crying so just for how happy I am to see that this little small baby is really going day by day. This baby here has got neonatal jaundice. Because of incompatibilities with the mother's and the baby's blood group, the baby is developing an excess of yellow pigment called bilirubin. We're trying to bring down the bilirubin by using these phototherapy lamps and hopefully avoid more serious treatments. World Prematurity Day is part of a global effort to raise awareness around the consequences of prematurity and the simple, proven, cost-effective measures that could prevent them. Well, there are quite a number of challenges. One of them is to actually start feeding them because they are so small and born prematurely and they don't tolerate the milk that we're given to them. And because of that, we need the breast milk. And we'll find that most of the time, the mothers don't have breast milk in the first few days. And then we try to get the breast milk from the donors, which is not very easy to get. Holding a newborn baby is one of the most precious moments. And for parents and preemies, this special time is essential to helping their baby thrive. The kangaroo care is quite good. It helps the babies a lot. And the sooner we start, the better, because it helps the babies to feel more comfortable in a sense that they bond well with their moms. When they are in kangaroo care, it's totally different from when they are in the incubator. It's a skin-to-skin -skin contact, and the babies feel the love from the mom. They feel the warmth, and they can actually feel the chest movements when they are, the mothers are breathing. Kangaroo care, it's something to get used to, especially if you don't sleep on your back. Also the weight on your chest and also being constantly aware that you actually have a baby 
on, on your chest. Looking after your own health during pregnancy is an important step in keeping your baby healthy too, especially if he or she happens to arrive a little early. It's actually quite difficult to prevent preterm birth. And in many countries, the rate of preterm delivery is actually going up. We know that mothers who have their first baby very young are more likely to have premature birth, as well as mothers who have their babies too close together. So maternal education or woman education is very, very important, and family planning as well. The other thing is for the mother to get early antenatal care so that any infections can be taken care of, and also a good follow-up in the antenatal period not to smoke, not to drink, and to live a healthy lifestyle with good nutrition. Create awareness for these brave little souls by supporting the initiative to wear purple for preemies today, World Prematurity Day. They may be small, but they take up a lot of room in your heart.